Hi everyone, so I finally had a bit of time to go through my wardrobe, so I'm going to show you today my kind of spring change around, so the process of actually moving things around in my wardrobe, the few things that I've decided to get rid of and pass on to friends and family because they just weren't really working, the things that have gone under my bed and like are definitely here to stay but I'm going to get them out next time kind of autumn winter rolls around and then also a few new things which I am very very excited to show you. If you're new to the whole capsule wardrobe thing then I'll link a video here as to how I got into it and the process of actually making making your own capsule wardrobe, but as I mentioned in my spring update video, I'm still following the whole capsule wardrobe thing, but I'm not as obsessed with numbers now as I was, so this time around I've been a bit more lax with the whole thing, so when I was taking things out and putting things back in, I was kind of just seeing how many hangers I have left, I'm not so focused on the whole, I think it was 37 pieces that I went with originally, I'm not so focused on that, I'm just kind of taking it a bit easy, feeling it out a bit more, but the first thing that I did when it came to this spring capsule wardrobe was I took everything out of my wardrobe, which is quite a process in itself, but threw it all on the bed, gave my wardrobe a little clean, which is always nice, and it always kind of amazes me how much dust is in there. Not amazes me, completely disgusts me. It is kind of grim. And then I went through and I just picked out things that I have worn an absolute ton in like the last month, sort of my favorite pieces. And I was due to do this back in March, so April, May, June. So June will be the next time that I do a mix up. So really I'm looking for pieces that are perfect for spring. In the UK that's kind of semi-cold weather still but obviously by the time June rocks around it's going to be a bit warmer so also trying to look at things that are going to work for that time of year. So then I was just left with my absolute favourite favourites, the things I really really love to wear, the things I think are going to work for spring. As I mentioned in my last capture wardrobe video there were a few things that just didn't really work out as I expected so I'll show you those now. The first thing was this Zara dress. I kind of loved the fit of it, I think it was a really cute fit but the pattern was just a bit in your face, I thought I could make it work and actually I just didn't end up getting much use out of it at all. Then also this jumper, I bought it off of ASOS and I should have known to take it back because it was just a bit scratchy and kind of made me sweat like absolute ton when I wore it. <laughs> the fabric of this ASOS blouse is great because it doesn't need ironing but it was just a bit too sheer and I didn't really want to have to wear a vest top under it all the time so I didn't really wear it that much. Then these Levi's boyfriend jeans, lovely but they were a bit big for me anyway and now they're kind of, I can swim in them, they're a bit too big. <laughs> so I bagged all of that up for friends or family and what they don't want I will take down to the charity shop so we're ready for step two. Now this is the exciting bit because when I originally made my capture wardrobe it was back in September so I kind of had a clear through and there was just a few summer bits that I really really loved but I wasn't going to wear over the winter so I put them under my bed and it was really fun to kind of open up the drawer under my bed and see what see what lied beneath so I kind of went through and just picked out a few things that are kind of spring appropriate but will also take me through to those early months of summer as well and I was just so happy with what I found there were some real gems down there that I've forgotten about so it felt like going shopping all over again so just a few highlights of what is going back in these Kurt Geiger leopard print shoes I absolutely love them couldn't wear them over the winter because you can't wear socks with them but now I enjoy slipping them on and this whistles t-shirt is great I love a good striped top it's really easy just to wear with like jeans or whatever on the bottom half now I do you remember this Reese tank top? I also have it in white. The white is going back in as well, but I really, really enjoyed wearing these last summer. I did have this and other stories top in white as well, but unfortunately the white got ruined with red wine. So I've just got the black one left, but I'm popping that back in the wardrobe. And the Reese trench coat is probably one of my favorite, favorite pieces in my wardrobe. It's looking a bit creased, but that is definitely going back in. Now the third step was to take a few things out of my winter capsule wardrobe that I really want to keep, but obviously aren't really appropriate for right now. So I popped those in into my drawer under the bed and you can see there my Zara Parker jacket, my Reese scarves, really like those and also the Whistles spotty top. I love the Whistles spotty top but I do end up wearing it all the time so I thought it might be a good idea to pop it under the bed and then that way later on in the year when I get it back out it's not such an overworn piece but that will always have a special place in my heart. So clear out complete, it is time for some new things. I've picked up a few things here but I definitely haven't completed my spring wardrobe by any means. There's just a few extra things I need to get. I really want to sort out a couple more pairs of jeans and also a couple more tops because I've still got quite a lot of knitwear in there so I fancy getting a few other pieces so I'm starting off slowly I'm taking my time with this one I'm not like rushing I'm just taking my sweet time but the first thing that I'm going to show you I have got so many questions about this because I wore it in one of Lily's vlogs I think and I've been wearing it kind of in snapchat 
Shack. And you guys have been asking where it is from, and it is this Reese jacket. I am in love. Now, now this is definitely an investment piece, so I will have a look online and pop any dupes I have found down below. But it is a gorgeous, gorgeous jacket. I have a leather jacket from And Other Stories, and again, that was a bit of an investment piece, but I wear it all the time. So I thought it'd be nice to have a bit of an alternative for that and something with a bit of colour, and I do love a nice pop of blue. To me, this just fits like a glove. It is, oh, just so soft. This is definitely my favourite thing that I've picked up so far. I've got a couple more things from Reese because I'm just having a Reese moment right now. I feel like their pieces are just beautiful and all of the pieces that I've got from the previous wardrobes have really like kept really well. They're very good high quality pieces. So I picked up these, they're like biker trousers I guess. They're not leather but they're like a kind of coated jean in that they look a bit leathery. These are tight. I would definitely recommend going a size up if possible because these are definitely trousers I would avoid if I'm going out for like a big meal. They're definitely not the most elasticated trousers that I own but I think they're really smart. I get a load of wear out of my leather trousers so I thought this was a nice alternative to those. And the other thing I got from Reese is this top. I think it is called the Keats top and they also do it in green and navy and I'm very tempted by both the green and navy but more the navy and I just think this fits beautifully. It's a lovely three quarter length sleeve, it's nice and flowy, it's a little bit longer at the back so it covers any muffin top that I've got going on, but I like tops like this because I just find they're really nice to kind of dress up and dress down. You could easily wear something like this at the weekend with like boyfriend jeans if I end up buying another pair or wearing them with something like the Reese trouser and like a high heel shoe if you want something a bit more dressy. You've probably noticed that the top that I'm wearing is new and this is from Topshop. It was actually picked out for me by Lily. Lily was like, Anna, you need to try this top on. It is beautiful and I completely love it. I feel like this is going to be this spring's version of the Whistles spotty shirt. It's a bit of a throwback to like my leopard print days but it's got like a bit of baby pink in there. It's really not something that I would normally pick up but I kind of tried it on and just really fell in love with it. It looks gorgeous tucked into things but also nice just kind of flowy and baggy as well. You know I love my good flowy and baggy things. Because it's more in t-shirt form I feel like it's a bit more spring summer appropriate and then something that is very spring summer appropriate and I picked this up because Sandra, TT Sandra here on YouTube, I will link her channel down below. She mentioned this in her March favourites video I think it was. I literally bought it like online there and then I clicked through and I was like yep I need to have that in my life. It was only 20 quid so a bit of a bargain but it's just a plain white top. It's quite short, it's definitely not the longest top around but it's just got this gorgeous detailing of like mini little crochet like pom-pom type thing on the bottom and then also around the arms and this bit of like netting at the top. It doesn't look much online. I would say from the picture I definitely wouldn't have bought it online but in person and when I saw it on Sandra I just thought it was completely beautiful. So really good if you're like going on any holidays or something. I think this would be a really good holiday edition. So that concludes my spring capsule wardrobe new in and round up so far. There will definitely be a complete spring capsule wardrobe featuring everything coming your way maybe in like a month or so, so keep an eye out for that. Thank you so much for watching. If you two are doing the capsule wardrobe thing, then let me know how you're finding it. Anything else that you've picked up that I need? Any recommendations? Throw in my way. I'm feeling blue and leopard print right now. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.